Hi guys, my name is Chanmin Lisandra and today I'm going to demonstrate on how to paint a landscape with an elephant and the scene will be very cloudy. But before that, I am going to introduce to you my materials. I have my paint palette here and you observe that guys that I am using um, limited colors on my palette. I have here the titanium white, the tallow blue, the medium yellow, the brilliant red and the lamp black. So we can mix everything guys using these uh, 5 colors or with 3 primary colors and uh, 2 neutral colors. So it's a good way on, on learning how to mix guys. So and these are my brushes um, I am using one inch flat brush number seven flat brush um, number four uh, flat brush number number one flat brush number two round brush and number zero round brush for the details so these are just the possible brushes guys not all of them I'm going to use in the painting so these are just um, the uh, basic brushes I'm going to use on this tutorial okay and this is my canvas it's 12 by um, 16 inches and it is already prime guys I made it myself and I'm using water as my medium Okay, so okay guys, I'm going to start with the sketch first. I will be using the uh, number two round brush. So I'm going I am I will be sketching the elephant first. I'm gonna use uh I think what's the base okay I'm going to use the blue a light blue with with white so I'm going, to, I'm going to mix the blue and white to make it a light a lighter blue. I'm not using anymore the 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 burnt china guys. So I use another color. You can use a chalk guys if you want to to uh, to use it for a sketch. I think chalk is better. Maybe I'll try using chalk in the next uh, tutorial. Okay, I'm going to sketch first the elephant. I want it to be up. I want to put a horizon here. I oh, know the the field, the grassy field. Okay, and here will be the elephant. I'm gonna put the elephant in the center. Okay. It's actually a trial and error process, guys. gonna be the big ear okay
Okay. So just follow what I'm doing, guys. If you wanna copy this painting, okay. This will be the the right foot here. It's going to make a one step. And also the left foot here. The tail. Okay. The eyes. And the task. Okay, that's it. Next, I'm going to... I'm, I'm now going to add the background colors. Okay. And I will be using the 1 inch flat brush. And I'll, it will be a very cloudy day. So I'm going to add lots of clouds. Okay. So I'm going to use the blue, the white. Okay. More blue and white. Okay. And I'm going to add here the dark color first of the clouds before I'm going to add the, the highlights. Just blend it uh, very well. Okay. And now I'm going to mix for darker colors. I'm going to add um, a little violet or grayish blue first before adding the highlights. And I'm going to use the blue, of course, and a little black. Okay, and with a little red. Okay. So mix it with a little amount of white. Add a little amount of blue. Okay. 
So just follow what I'm doing guys. Okay. I'm mixing another violet. So guys, the color is violet. Um mix the um blue and red and black with a little white to make the color like this one okay Going to mix another color blue and white with a little amount of black. Okay, to add another light blue on the, on the top. So guys, if the paint feels hard, then just dip the tip of your brush into the water to make it a little wet and make it a um, fluid so that it won't be hard to um, to, to apply it in canvas. So that's the idea guys. Okay. Okay, and that's fine. Now I'm going to add the background colors of the elephant. And I will be using the number four uh, flat brush. Okay, so I will be using the black and the red to make um, brown or uh, burnt shina like with a little white, I will, you know, yellow, a little yellow. Okay, more yellow. 
little more red okay so this guys is um burn china it's like a uh, burn china so i'm going to make the background color of this elephant no i want it to be darker so i'm going to use black yellow and red so it's darker guys okay It's, it's okay guys if you commit mistakes actually you 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 will learn from mistakes so it's okay guys and you can correct it if you if you see that it's odd or not good okay if the paint feels hard guys so just dip it into the water to make it um, wet okay Okay. to uh, mix another color Okay, that's it. Good 
the elephant's tail Okay Okay, so I think we're going to add more layers on that la later. Okay, so I'm going to add the grasses now here. I'm going to use the yellow, the little blue, and red. more green so just follow what I'm doing guys this painting will be very simple Okay. And guys, um, let it dry first for for uh, at least five minutes, and then you can add the, the details um, on the clouds and the elephants on the ground. Okay, so just let it dry first. I let it dry, guys, uh, for five minutes. Uh, it's a little dry and I added uh, one more layer of uh, brown or burnt chain on the on the elephant to make it uh, solid okay now it's the time to add the highlights and uh, some other details for the elephants okay so first I'm going to add the highlights on the clouds and I'm going to use the number seven um, flat brush Okay, so I'll be using the white paint um, directly on the clouds. So I'm going to assume that the, that the sunlight is from the top. It will be um, around 12 noon or 11 a.m. Okay. So just use the the. the white directly guys with the 1 over 7 flat brush so uh, observe my angle guys or how, I, or how I do the the details okay so it's just a circle circular movement guys of the brush if you want to learn how to paint the clouds so I have the tutorials guys you just find it on my youtube channel okay just observe the the circular movement guys on my on my brush okay and i'll be adding darker colors so i'm going to use the bl blue the red and black with white Little red. Okay, I don't like this. 
think gonna add more blue okay okay that's it okay same thing guys circular circular movement okay then then use the dark bluish gray color guys then add a little white on the tip of your brush to make the details okay Okay. It's okay guys if you commit mistakes. That's part of learning. Okay. Okay. Just observe what I'm doing, guys. So, are you may follow what I did. Okay, that's it. If this is your first time guys to make the clouds, it's kind of a little hard. But you should uh, do more practice. Okay. Okay. Need to add a little blue and red and white. Okay. And just play with the colors so that you will have fun while doing it okay that's it and also here Remember guys that there are no exact form of clouds so actually you are free to create your own uh, clouds like I uh, like like what I'm doing I am painting um, cumulus clouds okay. So just circular movement guys to create the effect or the or the kind of clouds. Okay. 
¿sí? Sí. No, they're here. Okay, that's very cloudy. <laughs> okay. Okay, just follow what I did guys, my hand strokes. How I do the strokes. So just um, circular movement guys on your hand. So maybe you should practice doing that. And also I have a tutorial on how to paint clouds guys in my channel. So just check it out. Just search it, search it on my channel. I think you can learn something from it. Okay. So, always remember guys not to overdo painting the clouds. You should add more spaces right here. Don't put um, all of the parts, uh, don't add highlights or over highlights. I really don't know what the right term for that, but just add more spaces between the highlights. So that's what I'm talking about the, between the highlights. Okay. Okay, that's it. Adding more. Okay. 
Okay. I think that's it. I think it's now a very cloudy day with the elephant. Okay, now I'm going to add the highlights of the elephant. Okay, so I'll be using the. I will be using first the number four flat brush. And I will be mixing brown. So first the yellow, the black, and red. And of course white to make light brown. Okay, so I'm be adding the yellow to make it uh, brown. Yellow is brown. Okay. Okay, so that's it. The foot, the foot first. Okay, this will be the ears, the ear. Okay. Yeah, we're adding the highlights on his um, butt. Okay. Be mixing another brown, so black, red, yellow, yellow, and red. Okay, adding red. Okay. Adding some darker colors. And I'll add it here. To the elephant um, nose. Okay. So also here. So I'm gonna add a little color here. So here, okay. Also the other foot. 
just use the dry brush technique guys don't add uh, water on your brush to make it um, hard okay and okay I'm going to add more highlights so I'll just add white on the existing color okay it's the ears I don't remember guys actually the the last time I paint uh, an elephant maybe it was uh, many years ago so this is just a very easy way to paint an elephant guys and not so detailed so actually you oh, you are you are really um free to add more details Mixing another red, yellow, and black, and white. Okay. highlights on the nose okay okay more highlights remember guys to use the dry brush technique so the ju just don't add water in it to make it uh, dry and to add uh, okay. adding more highlights just add white to the to the existing color to make it lighter for the highlights okay it finer okay 
Okay. Yeah, I'm almost done. So I'm going to add a little bluish on the other parts here of the dark or dark part to make it um uh, more realistic. So blue and black. So blue is gray to be exact. And white. Okay. Add it here. And also on the belly, on the elephant stomach. Also here. Okay. So this part. You can use your hands to blend the colors. Your, uh, I mean your fingers. Okay. 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 Also here. Okay, that's it. I think I'm almost done with my elephants. Okay, I think I'm going to add more, uh, a little more highlights. I'm going to use the white, um, yellow, red. Okay. So with the elephant's eyes. Okay. And later I'm going to add the elephant's tusk here. more highlights I'm going to add white more Okay, I'm almost done. More, um, you know, add little grayish, so, so red and black. I uh, know, um, uh, black and white. Sorry, to add it here. Also here. Okay. And I think here. Okay. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to add the elephant's um, tusk. 
it's I'm um, going to use the pure white here and I'm going to add here Okay, use the I use the number two round brush. You can use a smaller brush than this one. Okay. Okay. That's it. <laughs> and a little blending with um with um gray. So use the black and white to add um, okay that's it and now I'm going to add the uh, the Uh, no, no, the, the details of the grass okay I think this might be the last part for this painting I'll be using the yellow with a little amount of blue and red and white guys observe my strokes to create um, grass like textures using the one inch flat brush okay so upward stroke guys upward quick strokes and observe my angle using the brush okay you can use a fan brush guys if you like to to do this one or if you are comfortable using it you can um, I have a tutorials on how to paint grasses guys on my channel also so just check it out if you want to see other techniques on creating the, the grass Okay, just continue doing it. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> it's a very simple painting, guys. In one hour, I think that's fine. Okay, guys. So if you want to add something or add more details on the painting, you can. You are free to add. Then maybe you might want to add a tree here to make uh, the painting more detailed, and also tree here. Okay, so, um, okay, guys. If you want to follow this painting, just just follow what I did. Or if you want to paint with me, again, guys, thank you very much for watching my video. And 
and please hit like add some comment or subscribe for more paintings and visit my website www.gmsondra.com for more paintings or wanna see my old works and guys thank you very much for watching and have a nice day